My name is Gary Van Ness Galbraith Jr. I'm a black man, a father, a man that serves for the betterment of his community, a musician and educator. And I teach, I teach a social and emotional learning class through theater. I've been playing piano for 23 years since the age of five. My mother would say I would just go and bang on the piano. My mother, she thought to herself like, hmm, that might not be a bad idea for him. So since then, I've been playing piano since the age of five, 23 years. And I remember, you know, starting off playing classical and, and, and little chopstick songs. You know, I was developing a skill. I was developing, I was getting good, you know, the responses, but honestly, it made me feel good. It was an outlet for me. Uh, release a lot of stress that way, not even knowing. You can listen to music when you're sad, when you're happy, blue, depressed, anything, any feeling that you have. You know, music, you know, the, the tempo, everything about music I really enjoy. I've been teaching for, I'd say about a good two, three years now. You know, I teach at a school on the east side, FDR, Franklin D. Roosevelt, and I have a, I found a piano. I pushed it in my room, and I just want to exp expose them to something that's different, something new, and that was my goal of having a piano in my room. You know, they would come up to me, Mr. G, Mr. G, can you show me how to do this? Can you show me how to do this? Of course, I, I can do that, but that, that inspired me. Whatever I know, I just would like to just pass that. Finger. So your right hand is gonna be your fifth finger, and then your left hand is gonna be first. Hey, you got it. Coming Man. from? the inner city of Cleveland, being in the same community and schools that I've, CMSD, the same district that I've went to school at, it's, and it's an amazing feeling. I always look at some of the kids, I'm like, they remind me of myself so much. And, and they're just kids too, and, and no kid is bad. Seeing the response, their smiles, or them enjoying what they're doing, seeing them be able to read music and, and actually learn how to play it and getting the sound that they want. Like that is that is that is joy. That brings me joy. Trey, good job. You got it. So now the goal of my residency is to provide a platform for the youth. I mean, it's allowing me as an artist to perfect my craft and not only me, but uh, for me to be able to extend my knowledge. Hopefully I can have a recital, do something at the Caramel annually, or just be a resource. I would like to thank the Caramel House for putting on this residency. I'm thankful for the opportunity. I'm beyond thankful for the opportunity. So thank you, Caramel House. Thank you, thank you, Caramel House.